guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a huge Ulta haul. I have this huge box right here that was so heavy I just couldn't hold it up. And then I have actually several like trips where I went into Ulta to get a few things as well. So yeah, we're just going to dive right in. I do want to mention if you notice there's a difference in like the curling side of my hair. I did just do a review on two different curling irons. So I feel like this side looks like it's got a lot more body and this is kind of like, you know, a little more tame. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to get started. This is in no particular order whatsoever. Some of these are new things to me and then some of these are repurchases. So I'll go ahead and kind of get like the boring stuff out of the way. So the first thing I got was this little free gift with purchase. It comes with all these samples in here. I'll just usually pour this all in like my little sample box and I'll go through it. So if I'm running a little mascara or want to try out some new stuff, I'll gravitate towards these. Ulta usually does a pretty good job at including like good size samples as well. So I got that. That was like I said, a free gift with purchase. And then I picked up the eyeshadow palette from Juvius's place. It's the coffee shop palette. I used the this one shimmer shade on my lid today. I used some mattes from a like uh, Glam White Hershey's palette actually that I got that I really like. I used this shade down here. This is more of like a sheen of a color. There's not much pigment there. Like as you can see, I tried to like dig into there to see if there was like a weird coat on top, but not a huge fan of that. I'm not sure if the rest of the shimmer shades are going to be like that. And I can't say much about the matte shades, but um, really excited. Definitely like tones that I like very like neutral and everyday. And that's pretty much what I go towards. I don't buy a ton of makeup anymore. They'll be like, I feel like sometimes nowadays I'll go like a whole month or two without buying much makeup. And then like I'll go crazy kind of like I did with this haul. All right. So then I did just repurchase a uh, shampoo and conditioner. So this is the strength recovery shampoo. And actually this is the volume bloom shampoo because I do still have conditioner left. I'm one of those people that I can't finish my conditioner when I finish my shampoo. But purchased me some shampoo and conditioner to get me through the next few months. And then... I got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Glow 01, which looks like this. I thought I had this, but I was in store and this was the only sample that still had, like, you know, product in it to try out. So I got this. Everyone seems to really love these. It's just a really pretty, like, like everyday, like, neutral shade. Very nice. Also, if you didn't watch my last video, I mentioned I am using natural lighting now. I do have like some lights here on the side to kind of like, you know, light up the background. But if like the lighting is shifting throughout, it's because you're in front of two really big windows now. And then I've got big windows here as well. The next thing I picked up, I was super excited about. This is the Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palette in the shade... Actually, I'm not sure what shade this is in, but I love Pat McGrath products from what I've tried. I think this is the first eyeshadow palette that I have tried from them, and it has really pretty shimmer shades. I swatched a few of them. I'm sorry, so I don't blind you guys. Just like pinks, very like rose colors. I thought this would be really pretty for Valentine's Day, but I'll be honest, when I swatched these earlier, I didn't really love how these swatched, but I know like, you know, putting them on your eyes are going to be completely and totally different, but I picked that up. And uh, really excited to play around with that. And then I picked this up in store. I went there to, I don't even know why we went in there. My sister went in there to get moisturizer. I picked up a Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Starlight. So all of mine have completely, I don't know why it's not focusing on nothing. So all of mine have completely dried out. You guys know I used to have like a bunch of these and I like absolutely love them. But they all completely and totally dried out. But it's this really pretty gold shade. And this is a shimmer, so this doesn't have like the glitter in it. It's kind of like a wet kind of looking sheen. Really, really pretty. I was watching, I was like, let me get one of those because I haven't used one in a really long time. Then I picked up this from Juvius's Place. I think I picked up a few things from there. Yep, here we go. So I picked up this lip liner. This one is in the shade Sweet Nothing. And I just kind of grabbed this on like a whim. And uh, I probably would have went with something that was like a little bit more like cooler toned, but still really pretty. But again, it was just, I've seen the name and it just looked pretty and I was like, let's get it. And then I got these because I feel like everyone's been talking about lip oils. This is it, watermelon and blueberries. So I think that these are supposed to have like a, like a scent to them. We're going to see here. So I'm just going to. 
Yeah, so this one's like blue and this one's pink. Ooh. Oh wow, that smells really good. That does, it smells exactly like blueberries. And then, hmm, it does smell like watermelon. Oof, that's really nice. These are kind of sticky to be like lip oils. I'm used to them being a little bit glossier. So like a little bit, not like glossier, but smoother is the word I was looking for, I'm sorry. They're, they're clear, they do have like a tint to them in here, but I feel like when I put that one on my hand, that does just look clear, but I feel like lip oils are just all the rage right now. I've been trying to go into my Target to get the e.l.f. ones everyone's talking about, but they're always out of stock. So then I picked these up because I seen these in, I thought I had another one, and Kathleen Lights is yearly favorites. I could have sworn I had three of these. I actually think I have three of these. It's the LA Girl Shade Shifter, the duochrome ones. I'm pretty sure this is the ones that she's talking about. So I just grabbed Aurora and then Jade. This one's this really pretty. I'll swatch the screen one for you. She's just been like, was like talking these up and I was like, okay, I have to get them. I have to try them. So I got two here. This one's like a bluey green kind of duochrome. Mine aren't as pigmented and nice as hers. Like, I don't know if you guys seen, but like that's all the pigment that I was really getting out of these. And then this is, like I said, the shade, or, oh, is that Aria, Aurora? I don't know what that is. And then this one, right there. Yeah, they're not as pigmented as like when she swatches them. So did I get the wrong ones? I mean, I could have sworn these are the ones that she got, but yeah, I picked up, I actually think I have another shade in here somewhere. I thought I got three, but maybe I didn't. And then I had to pick up my morning moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It's the ultra lightweight one. My skin has really been going through it and I haven't been able to use my retinol because I'm doing laser hair removal and they ask you not to use like any sort of retinol for two weeks. So I feel like my skin's already just like hating it and it's like breaking out really bad. So just stick into what I know that doesn't irritate my skin because I don't want to try anything different. Then I picked up the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I really like this. I've used this time and time again. When my skin is acting up like it is now, I do like to use this sometimes in the morning. This doesn't do the best underneath makeup. You definitely have to let it sink and soak into your skin for a while or your makeup will kind of peel off. But I do really like this because I feel like my skin just feels soothed after I use it. So I wanted to pick me up one of those. I picked me up some of the um, Cheek Hydro Silk Face Razors just for like when I shave my face. Really like these. I like that they've got like this curved edge. It's really easy to kind of get around your brows or, or any areas instead of having that straight blade. So I picked those up. I also use these on the horses. So not the same ones I use on my face, but you know. Um, then I got this right here. This is the Builder Brow by Maybelline. I haven't seen anybody talk about this, but again, I'll be honest, I work a lot of times. I don't watch as much YouTube as I used to, but I got the shade Soft Brown. I thought I got two of these as well, but maybe I just got one. Okay, maybe I did just, nope, here it is. I thought I got another one. Yeah, I got Soft Brown and then Ash Brown. I think just between looking at like both of them, if the shades are what the tops look like. I'll probably like ash brown a little better. But I'm excited to try these out because I've been using the NYX one for a really long time and I love that one. But again, I just hadn't purchased a lot of makeup in a while and I was like, all right, let's purchase a few things. I purchased this wide tooth comb just because my dog broke mine sitting on my dresser. Lo just long story short, I just need a cheap wide tooth one that I just go through my hair with like when I curl it. Um, so I just purchased this one from a Conair and I think this was like the only print they had so that's what I grabbed. Let's see here. And then I got some more stuff from Pat McGrath. So I picked up the under eye skin fetish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder in the like transparent shade. I love this. It's my favorite under eye powder. Um, I've ever used. I've been trying to finish up my other ones first before I open new makeup because even if I don't like a product, I'm still trying to find some way to use it so I'm not wasting. It's my camera battery died. I'm having all sorts of technical difficulties today. So, <laughs> um, anyways, I picked up some Pat McGrath, more Pat McGrath. I showed you, I think, before my camera died. I was talking about the under eye powder. I picked up one of the blushes, and this one is in the shade Flirtatious. It's just really, really like a pretty everyday neutral shade. Maybe if I can get it open. Okay. Oh, there we go. 
Like this is just a really pretty like matte blush. Very like light sheen. I just love it. It's so pretty. No. It's the only thing I hate about using natural lighting is sometimes I feel like when the sun kind of starts going down, so I'm trying to hurry and get everything filmed. I picked up a few things from Providence Beauty. This is the Immortal Night Milk, the Youth Restore Facial Serum. I'm actually using their nighttime moisturizer. I'm trying to think, it's like blue, but I've already like opened that up to try it out. Like I said, I haven't tried this out just because I'm like really nervous with how my skin's already acting. But I did get that. And then I also picked up the Good Light Order of the Eclipse Hyaluronic Cream. Probably not gonna be trying any of this stuff out anytime soon until after my laser appointment and then I can kind of get started back on my retinol and then I'll try incorporating other stuff into my skincare routine but at the moment I don't want to you know incorporate anything else <laughs> that might irritate it so I did pick up sorry some of this stuff in here is like samples that I believe has like busted open yeah I had another sample bag in here and I'm not going through all these samples so then I picked this up. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink, and this is in the shade 25 Red Hot. To be honest with you guys, I don't even know why I picked this up. I just seen it, and I was like, wow, that would look like really pretty, because it's kind of supposed to like be like a liquid lipstick, but it's like a gloss, but it's supposed to dry to look like a gloss, but it's like a liquid lipstick, if that makes any sense. I just thought it was really pretty. Again, kind of thought for Valentine's Day. We shall see. Made me up another Essence Make Me Brow, and this one I got in the shade Brownie Brows. You guys know I love this stuff. I usually pick up about four or five at a time, but I just picked up one this time. All right, hopefully that's the last interruption, but Xena wanted out, so I had to let her out. I was talking about the MAC lipsticks I got. I got Blankly. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, it's just a really pretty, like, everyday neutral shade. And then I also picked up the shade Chili by them as well, which is like a really pretty like rusty kind of red um i feel like anytime you go into like try swatch products there's like nothing left there to like swatch but yeah there we go it's really pretty i don't know it's different so i was like you know what we're gonna get it and we're gonna try it out then like i said i did pick up another nyx lift and snatch in the shade ash brown because i know i work i know it works and i do really like it so i want to pick that up and then lastly i picked the i do care rolling with it ice massage roller I know I don't know why but sometimes I see these like things on TikTok and people are just like talking it up and they're like I'm telling you it works so we're, we're gonna try it we're gonna try it do you just wait a minute do you freeze this or do I need to put ice in there remove the bottom cap oh okay let's sanitize it I guess you just freeze this thing or do you put ice in here no because then that would freeze it together I don't know. I don't know how this is used, but everyone's talking about them, so I'm just like, you know what, we're, we're going to give them a try. But yeah, that is everything. Like I said, I did get a lot of gifts with purchases when I did the two online orders, and then like I said, I got that gift when I went in store as well, but like it's even got like one, this OC cleanser, which I've been wanting to try, this each and every citrus aluminum-free deodorant. I don't use, like I use deodorant, but it's by the brand Little Seed Farm. I'm not sure if I've talked about that yet on my channel, but I really, really like them. So been using that brand and it does really good. So I probably will not switch back to any sort of deodorant like this, but I'll probably give it away. But it come with like the e.l.f. putty or power grip primer, um, a bunch of mascaras in here to try out. But yeah, I had quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, I know this was a quick haul. I do want to apologize. If the lighting's not perfect, if you guys kind of preferred the older videos where you had the ring light, let me know because I can put the ring light back up here. I'm just trying to like not use as much, I guess, like just use natural light. So what you're kind of seeing on camera is a little bit more of like what you'd see in real life, if that makes sense. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.